Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and welcome to a possible new series that we could be doing on the channel, that being object reviews. So yeah, a few, um, oh yeah, it was in, yeah, the other day I was talking to Anonymous just on Discord about stuff and then we got onto um, this possible idea of a new series, that being um, object reviews. So he actually suggested this and we're going to see um, how well this series does, see if you guys like it or not. And then if you guys like it, then we can continue doing it. So the rules for this series will be you can send in free, any any free objects, so any free planets in a simulation. And then I sort of review them out of 10 on three different categories of life likelihood, the atmosphere and the clouds and then the surface. There's sort of three little categories there where I don't, then I give it an overall score out of 10 or 100 or something. So, yeah, we're just going to get straight into this. So, yeah, he sent a uh, simulation for me to, uh, or three planets as a demo for this new series. So, we're just going to get straight into it. So, the simulation, I already have it um, here. Right, so it's prime planets for test planet review. And I believe these are actually all on the workshop. So, if you guys want to get your hands on these planets, they should already be on the workshop uploaded by Blue Marble. So, um, if you want to get them, they should be there. So, you can gra go grab them. Um, yeah, no, let's put it on high. There we go. Let's get our settings back up from the last video. But yeah, here we go. And that already looks like a good thumbnail, actually. Okay, so all you need to know is that there's some sort of their first cut. Yeah, so these are like the two-tone planets again where they got like... Or they, they change colour near the dark zone. So here, for instance, this planet looks amazing. But it goes to a reddish colour before going dark. And then it's obviously white in the main area, which is really, really cool. So it's like another like two-tone... I think he calls them sunset planets. But they look great. I mean, that red one looks so cool. They're probably the best looking one out of all of these. But yeah, so we've got three planets to sort of individually test and review out of all of these. They're all quite similar, but out of all the colours, that's sort of where I'd go. But yeah, I've seen this one. I know I definitely know that this guy's on the workshop, and I was actually discussing this with him. This would probably make good... Oh, this yellow one. This would probably be quite a good Proxima Centauri B, I think, from uh, my first glances of this. But seeing it in the game now, it looks great. I mean, check it out. I mean, that is so nice. So anyways, yeah, we'll go ahead and start off with the blue object first. And just look at it. It just looks great. I mean, let's check these stats on these guys as well. I mean, they may not be accurate since we're not around a star, but if they haven't been ran... Yeah, so Earth's similarity, 98, and then Life Flight Code, 90. So really, really high stats here as well. So that already sort of gives it bonus points. So, yeah, there it is there. Pretty um, similar to Earth-looking composition with the Iron Core and all that as well. Looking good. Also, very similar stats to Earth as well. So it's pretty much... Um, designed off earth i'm assuming with the stats on it so we've got very very high earth likelihood stats on it also some city lights behind as well to add as well looks really really cool now moving on to the surface underneath looks really really nice color blends here with like the green and the light um yeah we've got yeah, the, the green there then we have a whiter yeah color in the high elevation looking really cool and then we've got two shades of green there so there is that looking really good with the poles as well the north and south there nice color combinations but then with the atmosphere we've got a white atmosphere as you can see i know he likes doing his white atmospheres um but yeah he's got this like two-tone one you can see this this planet gets a little more blue before it turns to the nighttime size because right now this area is white but as you move to the darker area it goes blue and then it turns to the nighttime so this that's the two-tone for this planet so it's a blue and a white color but then with the atmosphere i mean those clouds look great I've, i don't i think we can all agree on that that Look how cool they look. The shiny sort of silver blue looking clouds. I mean, if we go underneath here and look up, I mean, check that out. I mean, that is so cool. Those clouds look so bright and glamorous. I mean, that's a cool surface shot as well. But yeah, they look great. So yeah, th this planet for me would definitely be a solid 9 or 10 out of 10. I mean, this thing looks great. I mean, the color blend in the atmosphere, the clouds... That's a really, really cool. And also, it's got really high stats as well. So, I'm assuming that these two also have similar stats with the um, Earth, like, yeah, the likelihood. Yeah, so, yeah, 98.775 on this guy. So, really high stats there. I mean, the golden clouds, they look amazing. So, I have to say, I really do like the, like, orange and yellow colors. Uh, some of my favorite colors, along with blue. Orange, yellow, blue, I think, are my top three colors. But they look great. I mean, look at how the, the clouds are also a different color. Like, some areas, they're yellow, and then they're more of an orange color. I mean... That's amazing. Then underneath here, we've got a more grayish sort of, or some, I get more like military sort of green, dark sort of camo sort of colors, I guess, mixing with the atmosphere. But you can see that each planet has got an individual different surface color to sort of match the clouds, I guess. So this one's more of like a desert-like world, I guess, with those clouds. I mean, from first impressions, I mean... Maybe it's not, it just reminds me of a more rocky sort of object, actually, not really a desert. And obviously it's got a north and south pole as well for extra visuals um, on it as well, which looks really, really cool. And obviously, actually, if we just remove the clouds quickly, just the clouds by themselves there, 
they look really really good you can see it's got a um, more creamish color um, in the darker zones here but obviously it gets to a more white color in the light area so yeah another light again also following the chain of objects here all two-tone atmosphere look really really cool i think on this one it's the least noticeable that it is a two-tone because from a distance you could just say it's all of like a darker yellow color but if you get closer you can clearly tell that this area is a more white color but as you go up it does turn to a more like a yellow sort of color a very dark sandy yellow so yeah two-tone there looking great again i'd give it an eight or nine out of ten there looking really really cool but on to the uh, last one now out of these guys the red one this thing looks i love the red on this i mean 100 percent out of these guys i'd say this one is the best i mean that red zone in between the day and night area that looks great the, this is probably the best two-tone object out of all three of these because you can really notice how red it gets before it turns to the dark area i mean that is so good looking i mean and we'll see yeah we'll go to the stats as well here 99.8 and 90 that's what i think that's got the highest stats out of them all as well i mean 99 none of the other ones had that and then that 90 let's just check actually so yeah and then this one had yeah so this one has got the highest stats out of them all here really really good looking i mean it's exactly the same size as earth i'm getting its atmosphere is very similar as well there right there uh how much is it in earth so 0 0.99 one there so yeah very similar stats to earth but this thing looks amazing i mean look just even in the picture here how it goes to a white color and then it gets red in the um, red in the corner i mean that looks so good looking and obviously the clouds turn to a lighter red in the daytime but obviously where it gets to the sunset area they go to a really deep red color i mean look how cool that is let's actually go ahead and land on this guy and just look at these clouds i mean look at that red they look that looks great so yeah there we are let's um, let's land here as well let's uh, go to a little lighter area here but oh the red the red clouds look so good Oh, look at that. They look so cool. Really, really got some, like, red sky at night right here. I mean, look how good that looks. Very, very nice job on here. I think, compared to those two, 100%, this is the best. 10 out of 10, this one. Those two, I'd give 8 or 9s. This one is 10. I think this thing is amazing looking and really, really cool. And, yeah, this is, like, a, another new sort of breed because I do have, um, if I go back to some of my old... Um, some of the objects from the massive template simulation if i just search up um one of the white i think it was the white ones white no i can't remember the name of it um i think it was i just called it underscore that's how i get all of these guys let me just get excited because there has been objects with two-tone colors around since the start of modern some dumb gamers first ever object was a two-tone object but comparing that to these guys this red zone covers way more area than that atmosphere on the original planet from way back did where 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 do I, I can't remember what i called the uh yeah here it is the half white so as you can see here this one's also sort of two-tone this is this was based off some dumb game's very first ever modded object where you can sort of see it's white in the equator area but as you go up it turns to a more of a pinkish color so some dumb gamer had like these objects have been around for ages but we've got like a new series of them with all glowing clouds as well that's all new because the, the older ones didn't have glowing clouds it was just the atmosphere but these ones have glowing clouds and the red zone definitely covers more area than i think the pink zone did on that one i just had spawned in but yeah these are like a mark ii version i guess of the two-tone objects in a way because they got the clouds as well i mean it looks so cool i mean just check it out such a good looking object right there and you, you can see the clouds from behind it as well like the glowing red in the north, in the north pole there i mean look at it it looks so good that red clouds oh it looks menacing but oh it looks so good i mean definitely no hate to these two either the, the blue and the yellow one also look great but i think the red one is the best if you ask me 100 percent. so yeah there are those three planets so yeah guys that is it for today's video and um and a possible new series so if you guys like this series let me know let's see if we can go for 20 likes on this um video guys and yeah just let me know your thoughts down below of this new series because I, I like the idea when anonymous um um, proposed this to me and yeah we thought we'd um try it out for a um possible new series so if you guys like it we'll keep it up if you don't like it then th this may just be a one-off video who knows but yeah hopefully you guys will like it because I, I wouldn't mind continuing this i think this is quite cool so um yeah let's um yeah see what you guys think on that but yeah like i said let's even go for 20 likes for this new series guys let me know your thoughts down below and also subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 9,000 subscribers because yeah the subscriber count's been going up We've, got, we've flown past 8,000 now. It's absolutely crazy. So a massive, massive thank you to all. Really, really cool stuff how well um, things are going there. And yeah, I can't thank you all enough. It's really appreciated. Hopefully I have an 8,000 subscriber special out next week. But yeah, without further ado, that is everything, guys. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts down below and goodbye.